Right, question 14. Let's write down what we know. So we've got volume, and it's actually we're talking about a sphere. So now the volume is, is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now, actually, this question, don't panic if you can't remember this, right? You know, the volume's measured r cubed times something, all right? It's not, uh, it's not necessarily actually essential. Right, so let's think about what we're told. Well, we're told that the volume is changing over time and it's decreasing at a constant rate. So it's decreasing, so it's negative, so let's just call that constant rate C. Okay. Now, what we can write here is that, let's think about what we can write from there. Well, we could differentiate this, couldn't we? So we get uh, dV, dV over dR. And that's going to be uh, 4 pi r squared. Okay. Now, if we piece all this together, we're talking about down here, let's be clear, right? dr over dt. So let's think about what we know. Right? dr over dt will equal, and we've got dv over dt, and we've got this one over here. So think about how I'm going to combine these together. So I want something over dt. So dv over dt. Can multiply that by dr over something, okay? So I've got v there, so I'm going to put a v there, right? And that's going to work. Now, this is okay. I know that, so that's minus c. That's all right. I'm going to times by now dr over dv. I know dv over dr. So it's just 1 over 4 pi r squared. If I simply just push this together, I've got that equal to minus c over 4 pi r squared. Now, basically, we're just going to call this bit here a constant. Okay? So, we call it just like that, just to match this over here. All right? It's just a constant. It's just a number. All right? It's all we need to worry about. Right. Okay. Now, let's have a look at Part B. Now it says solve differential equations. Right, okay. So now we need to be looking at this. Right? Again, it's another big clue there because it's saying differential equations. Right? So what we're going to do is we're effectively going to take the dt there. We're going to take the r squared up on this side. Um, now as differential equations go, actually this is kind of quite a nice one. So if we now deal with this, so imagine we're going to just going to integrate this. All right, so that gives me r cubed over 3. And then that gives me minus kt. Now it's plus something. Okay, I'm just going to get that over there. Right, so let's just go. We just call it a different letter, something that we haven't used. Okay, normally I put plus c there, but we've already used the c, haven't we? We've already defined it as something else. So you just call it anything you like. Right, it really doesn't matter. Right, okay. What do we know? The initial radius. So in other words, when t is equal to zero. Okay. So all I need to do is if I just plug in t is equal to 0 into here, and the radius is 40, it gives me what that figure is just there. Right, I'm going to write it down here where I've got a little bit of room. So 40 cubed will give us uh, 6, 4, and uh, 3 zeros over 3. So that's this figure just here. All right. So let's write down what we've got now. So we've got r cubed over 3 equals minus kt plus this number there. Right, okay. So we're nearly there now. Now the other bit of information we were told is that t is 5, r is 20. So if we just plug these in now, and what that's going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to work out this k value over here. And if we if we do that, all right, then we get k there to be one one two. And I'm sort of missing a little step there. Okay, right, we're going to get that there. Um, all I've done is I've just substituted these numbers in here, and then we can find out what k value is, right? and then we get r cubed over 3 is equal to this. Right, 
just multiply everything by three, right? It's daft having those threes there, isn't it? Okay, so if you multiply everything by three, you get r cubed equals well, minus one one two t plus six four two three. Okay. Now, the last little step on part C it talks about it says find the limitation on the values of t um, for when it's going to be valid. Well, what's going to happen at some point? The radius is going to be zero. Okay. So all you've got to do on part C is just say, well. When's r going to be zero? Okay, so let's just quickly find it out. Well, zero cubed is zero, so it equals minus one one two nine. Just trying to find the time. And one, two three. Add that to both sides. Divide by your one one two two zero um, equals six four one two three. Divide by this number just here. So one two three divide by eleven thousand two hundred. And we end up getting um, 40 over 7 seconds. So limitation is that the time needs to be less than this. Because right? once, you, once you go over this figure, then um, you're going to get negative answers, aren't you? Right? So then it's not going to make sense.